Convertibles with soft tops are no longer fashionable. Now in this sector, constructors offer coupe convertibles with retractable roofs. Mercedes and Peugeot began the trend, and other constructors aren't wasting time in jumping on the bandwagon. After the Tigra, Opel now offers the Astra Twin Top, a model that doesn't lack for selling arguments compared to a competition in full expansion. The first innovation, the opening of the roof, can be done by remote control, with the key in the ignition. Another new piece of kit is the opening system built in partnership with CTS, which folds in three sections. In convertible form, the top takes up less room in the boot. This augments the storage capacity, but it does take more time to open and close. 28 seconds for each of these movements. Another particularity, all of this can be done at speeds up to 30 kilometers an hour. A real plus compared to its rivals, yet we notice that everything moves quite a lot on bumpy roads. According to Opel, the system is reliable, and this procedure can be done up to 20,000 times without a problem. The new roof system is properly adjusted when closed. Not a sound nor wind infiltrates the interior, and its simplicity incites opening the top even if there's only a hint of sunshine. The coupe convertibles represent a new concept in leisure driving. Whereas sports cars are having a hard time in terms of sales, the convertible market is currently experiencing a boom. In four years, sales have increased fourfold. This market is sensitive to innovation. From one year to the next, the variations have been significant. Opel is counting a lot on design to seduce its customers, a process that began with the Astra. The twin top's front end comes in the shape of an arrow with its own specific radiator grille. And as it concerns the rear of the car, Opel wanted to rid itself of the knapsack effect linked to the size of the top that has to be stored in the boot, resulting in very noticeable overhang. We were expecting better though when it came to the interior. Even with all the options, knife leather and a long list of equipment, it still lacks some pizzazz and the plastic bits leave a lot to be desired, which is a shame for a car whose selling point is fun and leisure. The version that we test drove is the most powerful on offer. It comes with a turbo-compressed 2-litre engine with 200 brake horsepower, but it's all for naught in the twin top, which needs nearly 9 seconds to reach 100 kilometres an hour from a standing start. Maximum speed is 237 kilometres an hour, proving that the problem area is the engine block and not the overall weight. The weight does hamper performance, but it's a killer when it comes to fuel consumption. In city traffic, this Astra needs 13.3 litres to travel 100 kilometres, and the numbers get much worse when driving it hard. High-end performance is not its vocation, but certain clues could raise a doubt or two. The chassis is 15 centimeters lower than the standard version, the gearbox is very nicely staged, and the engine gives off a nice sounding growl. In the same respect, the travel of the gear shift is very short, and there's also a button that will allow the driver to firm up the suspension and assure better response when accelerating. We also noted the progress Opel has made in terms of handling. The twin top's front axle sticks to the road surface and the rear axle runs through the corners, allowing for some fun, but it's also completely reassuring. The downsides concern the sloppy play in the wheel every time you step hard on the gas and the shock absorption on beaten up roads. The chassis has a tendency to vibrate as if the shocks are moving up and down but also from side to side. The biggest problem though is the lack of endurance under braking. You have to pump the brakes a few times in order for the distance of the pedal to increase and the effectiveness to come in. In the end, the Astra Twin Top doesn't lack for some strong arguments, but it isn't very homogenous with its 2-litre turbo engine. It could be a wiser bet to opt for the less powerful version.